Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. This video comes to you from a central Illinois field where the three classic international harvester tractors are working together to seed oats as a cover crop with alfalfa. In the video, you will see an International 1566 with a roller harrow, an International 1256 with a field cultivator, and a Farmal 450 with a grain drill. During the 1950s, 1960s, and 1970s, when these tractors were produced, they were the largest row crop machines available from the company. This takes me back to the mid-1970s into the early 1980s, when you would have seen a farm working with all their tractors in the same field, the tractors coming from a 30-year time period, each one having a different job to put the crop into the ground. So let's head out to the field so you can see and hear all this red power in action. International Harvester introduced the 113 PTO horsepower Model 1256 in 1967. It was the direct upgrade to the popular 1206 Turbo introduced back in 1965, and it was ultimately replaced by the 131 PTO horsepower 1456 in 1969. During its production run, the 1256 was the largest row crop tractor available from International Harvester, this one is working on tillage in this Illinois field with a 13-foot wide Will Rich field cultivator. The field cultivator helps work up the soil to warm it up and build the seed bed as well as bury residue left over from last year's crop. The 48 PTO horsepower Farmall 450 tractor was the largest row crop machine available from International Harvester from 1958 through 1956. It's working with a 10 foot wide International Number 10 grain drill, which is seeding oats and alfalfa together. The main box on the drill is filled with oat seed, and then there is a small box on the front of the drill that is filled with alfalfa seed. Both go down the seed tubes into the ground to plant the new crop. The 
The 161 PTO Horsepower International 1566 was the largest row crop tractor available from the company during its production run from late 1974 through 1976. This tractor was originally offered with a white stripe decal on the side panels of the engine, and for model year 1976 for the United States bicentennial year, the tractor received a black stripe, which you see on the model working in this Illinois field. This tractor is pulling a 15-foot wide International 315 roller mulcher, or also called a cultimulcher. Typically, this machine is used to firm up the seedbed when it has the center tines down in the field. It'll work up the ground and break up the clods. Currently, it's being used as a roller to firm up the seedbed and make sure that all the oat and alfalfa seeds have good soil contact to begin germination, as well as smoothing out the field to make a good even mowing surface when the alfalfa is ready to cut. I hope that you've enjoyed spending some time out in this Illinois field with three great international harvester tractors from the 1950s, 60s, and 70s. I'd like to hear what your all-time favorite international or farmal tractor is. Let me know in the comment section below. And if you've enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you've enjoyed the content of the video, consider giving it a thumbs up as it helps alert other tractor fans that the video is here to watch. Make sure to click on the notifications bell as well so you'll know when the next Big Tractor Power video is released. New videos are coming out almost every day from the channel. If you have any questions or thoughts about this video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram, where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching. 